Hey everybody, Quilt Marine here. So, we washed our uh, orange fabric, okay? I ironed it out, I folded it, okay? And I folded it with the selvages to one end. All right, we're gonna cut, I'm just gonna cut one strip of two and a half inches, okay? We're going with a two inch border between our blocks. So I cut it at two and a half inches because remember you have the quarter inch seam allowance on, on each side will put you at two inches, okay? And that's how I'm doing it, okay? It's not a, a mathematician's game, all right? We just do it to do it because we love to do it, all right? So, um, on my little miniature self-healing mat here, that's, that's a sales pitch to my wife so I can get a bigger one. <laughs> We're gonna measure. All right, so what I did was I laid out my fabric I got the true edge, and then I cut off the craziness cut that they did at the store, okay? They have rotary cutters, they have rulers, and they still cut like they're a DUI, okay? So I got a true edge here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get my two and a half inch cut of two and a half inch strip, okay? That I'm gonna use for borders, okay? So I normally don't go all the way to the edge, don't ask me why, all right? I just don't. I like to see the big numbers here, the yard lines, okay? I'm gonna score a touchdown here. All right, so I'm gonna go two and a half inches, and I'm just gonna measure straight across, all right? Two and a half inches. Let's see what we got here, what is it? Oh, we almost made it. All right, so we, won't, we need to get this right here. We need to fold, see that? See how I almost made a mistake? What are they doing? <laughs> Those are the dogs, okay? You're going to have to forgive. <laughs> but you guys, if you've been watching videos, you know they, they love to wait till we turn the camera on before they start performing, okay? <laughs> hey! All right, so now we got our edge here. Sorry about that. Now we're going to go one, two, and a half. All right, right between the three and the four. All right. All right, so I got some of those little sticky things. I don't know what they're called. Um, the sticky things for your ruler. I'm gonna get those, okay? So that my rulers don't slide. I like I used the, I used to use a weight, but the weight was like, yeah, it's a little out of control. Alright. So we're gonna get a cut here. Alright, so that's it. Two and a half inch cut. This is gonna be the borders that I put between my blocks. Okay? So what I'm gonna do is let's just move this out the way. Let's go ahead and let's cut the selvages off. Here. Yeah. I'm gonna cut off our selvages. Alright. Now this is not the end all be all, okay? This is how I taught myself. Alright? I didn't take a class, alright? But I did stay in the Holiday Inn Express last night. <laughs> dilly dilly. <laughs> My wife's cracking out right now. Alright, so. Salvages, salvages are off, all right? And now we're gonna go with a 17 and a half inch cut, okay? The reason why I'm doing 17 and a half inches is because my blocks are 17. So I'm going with a 17 and a half inch. So I cover the block completely and there's a little bit hanging off so that when I do my strips lengthwise, I've got a good connection, okay? I don't know if I've explained that well enough, but I hope so. I hope so. Okay. All right. So if I lose you, just, just private message me. It's okay. All right. I don't take offense to it. All right. It's okay. What we want, I do this for new quilters. All right. And you ladies out there trying to get your guys to do it. All right. They're, they'll never understand it if, if you try to teach it to them the rocket science way. Okay. You got to keep it potato head style. It's the way I learned. Keep it simple, all right? Keep it simple. All right, we're gonna go 17 and a half inches. All right, on this one, I'll go all the way to the end. And I'm gonna go 17 and a half inches here. How many times did I just say that? 17 and a half inches. <laughs> there we go. That's that, all right? So, let's pull the rest of it, what we didn't get. Let's get another cut, because it's folded over, all right? It's folded over, so we're getting Two for the price of one. 
All right, let's get this cut here, 17 and a half inches. All right, look, be safe with your rotary cutters, all right? I'm a little wild with my rotary cutters, but I've also been to Fallujah, so a rotor, rotary cutter doesn't intimidate me, all right? All right, so we're done. Now, we're gonna put our strips, we're gonna attach our strips to our blocks, okay? So I counted off, I got, so I'm going five blocks across. I mean, I'm doing 30 blocks, five across, five down, all right? That's what's gonna fit at 17 and a half inches, and then I'm adding the two and a half inch, or the two inch border. This is a pretty nice size quilt, okay? So what you're gonna do is, with your strip, gonna grab a strip here, gonna keep it simple, okay? No rocket science here, no rules, all right? All right, if you want a quilt that you're gonna put on display for judges, this is not the channel, all right? But if you want a quilt you wanna to give to a loved one, Throw around the house, maybe mount it on a wall in your private room where no one goes so they won't see it. <laughs> this is your channel, okay? But the mistakes and all that craziness, I love them, all right? So look, I'm not embarrassed, all right? I love, I love my little miscues, all right? So look, here, let me show you a miscue here. Um, I'm sure there's someone here. Look at this. See how this corner doesn't match up here? Ooh. I'm going to throw myself off of a bridge. All right? It's not really all of that. All right? Love your quilts. Love your mistakes. All right? We're not perfect, nor should your quilts be. Okay? All right, here we go. All right. So, I'm going to go. Remember, right side's facing, right? Remember that, right? You know how many times I've stitched fabric, I've stitched fabrics wrong side facing like this? And then I'd roll it over and be like, all right, time to get out the seam ripper. My seam rippers have miles, okay? They have miles. Somebody needs to send me seam rippers to review. I'm a pro at using a seam ripper, okay? I don't mind it, all right? I taught myself. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna sew a quarter inch seam allowance right here, all right? Then we're gonna press the seam with the iron. We're gonna roll it out, okay? Here we go, let's give that a shot. Let's see how that looks here. Let's go to my trusty birthday present machine that my Beautiful wife got for me. The brother. PQ1500 SL. Alright? It's my baby. My second baby. Okay, so we're going 17 and a half inches, so that means I can go over. So we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and put that in there. So I'll press a foot down. This knee bar, I just love the knee bar. The knee bar is Look at that. That's awesome. Look at that. No hands, Ma. <laughs> Look. Okay, so let's let's get back to work. Okay, here we go. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and get on there. We're gonna set it down. Alright, so look at that. Quarter inch seam, right? That's my quarter inch seam allowance right there. It's the marker. So when I lay my fabric down, I usually try to stay with the four on the outside of my fabric, then I know I'm doing a quarter inch. But if it goes out, ooh. Not worth jumping off a bridge about, okay? It's only fabric and it's only thread, okay? Here we go. Let's start this thing. All right, so let's make sure we're all straight. Now, a good, a good habit to get into is for your new quilters, like me, because I'm a new quilter too, is using a pin, all right? The pin to make sure that your fabric stay in place, okay? I have clips, but I usually only use the clips when, I'm, when I have my, my cake, my three layer cake, okay? And get close to the pin, just pull it out, all right? So after we do that, we're going to take it to the ironing board. 
All right, so we want to press the seam, okay? So pressing the seam is not ironing, okay? All you're doing is setting heat down onto the seam, okay? That's all you're doing. All right, let's just press the seam. All right, so we want to iron to the dark side, right? We don't want, we don't want our dark side or this side showing through to, cause you'll be able to see it through here. All right, but this is a pretty dark fabric, so you can get away with it. It's all right, but you know, for safety's sake, let's let's push, let's push that all to the dark side, okay? All right. Okay, so now what I do is I'll roll it over. Take a look at it, then hit it again, okay? There's no problem with that, all right? No problem with it at all. Okay, so the next block, all I'm gonna do is, okay, so I have one done already. So I'm gonna put the next block, I'm gonna attach the next block to this strip. Just like that, all right? So what I do is, I roll it over, all right? This is how I do it, all right? I'm sure there's nine million ways to do it, but the way the Quilter Marine taught himself how to do it. All right, so I'm gonna, I need a quarter inch seam, right? So I'm gonna align the top of the second block with the first block, all right? This is just how I do it. Now, look, now you can see why I went 17 and and a half because you got that little bit sticking out okay now you want i i want that i don't know about anyone else well y'all all the so-called experts but that's what i do to make sure i'm staying legal okay and then i just align it with with that uh strip okay so i'm gonna do a, i'm gonna and i line with the bottom a little bit align with the bottom of the block so now when i when i stitch this i'll have two blocks attached and we shall be golden okay so let's take it to the machine all right so i'm gonna do it the right way because i know i got you new quilters here there's some new quilters out there so i don't want to teach you bad because the quilting police will, will get a hold of me and lock me away forever okay so let's pin it all right so i'm just gonna put a pin in here pin all right i'm gonna pin I don't want anybody thinking I'm I'm a rebel. I should be thrown away in jail because I'm violating the quilting rules. That quilting marine is out of control. All right, no rules. We're on a journey together, right? Let's put a pin in here so I can keep you new quilters from losing your minds. Here we go. Now we're going to the machine. All right. Look at that. Stayed in place. Makes it a little easier on yourself, okay? We're going to go ahead and start our stitch here. Quarter inch seam. All right, let's back stitch a little bit here. Secure the stitch and forward. Okay. Quarter inch seam. All right, so don't get in the habit of running over your pins. It's not a good thing when your needle strikes a pin. All right, so not all of us can afford needles like that. And we're off. Quarter inch seam. Needle. Let's go ahead and pull that out. And right through the intersection. Let's pull this pin. Keep on going. Let's backstitch this. And cut it and pull it. So we're gonna set the seam on this one. Okay? Remember, we're not ironing, we're just setting the seam. open this up and take a look at it here look at that okay and let's let's get a measure on it before the quilting police show up looks 
looks like. All right, once we set, once we iron it, it'll come out to about two inches. Okay. Quilting police are on the on the way. I can hear the paddy wagon coming. All right. So let's set the let's set let's go ahead and iron this thing open. So look at that because you know we just stitched it. So we're gonna iron this thing open. All right. We want the light to go to the dark. Okay. We don't want to see the darker fabric showing through the lighter fabric. All right. You can also you can achieve this by ironing on the other side too. All right. It works both ways. Don't wrap yourself around the wheel. Okay. Let's take a look at this here. There we go. There we go. Okay, and so on and so on. All right? We're going to keep on going. We're going to put five of these together. All right? And once we get five of them together, that's one strip. Okay? And then once we get all five strips lined up, we're going to cut two and a half inch strips lengthwise. All right? And they'll be longer. Okay, so let's take a look at a five. So this is a five, we've already done. I'm just gonna lay it across here. All right, and this is a five, done. And we're gonna do five of these individual strips and then we're gonna attach them together. All right, and then we'll have a quilt top basically. I'll do a final border around the edge and we will bind and we'll bind with this slate, all right? So, I know you're probably already waiting for me. It's been a while. <laughs> I got to catch up to you guys. But new quilters, don't wrap yourself around the wheel, all right? It's supposed to be fun, all right? We're supposed to enjoy it. Don't let anybody take the joy out of something that you do away from you, okay? It's supposed to be fun. If, you, if you're not having fun, then someone's probably standing over your shoulder telling you, you did this wrong. You measured that wrong. You did this wrong. Do you? All right? It's only fabric and it's only thread. All right? Remember that. That means something. Okay? Try to bring in new quilters. And that's what scares most of them away or intimidates most of them is the intimidation that experts project onto them. You know? Now, nobody wants to hear that. We want new quilters to come into the craft. All right? We want to welcome them with open arms. I do. I needed that. I didn't have that. So I had to teach myself. So I want to teach you. Okay? Remember, please subscribe, and it's only fabric, and it's only thread.